a.m. It's like Monday late afternoon. I've just been having a relaxing Monday. I skipped the gym this morning. Today was supposed to be my cardio day, but I just didn't feel like going, so I'll start my week tomorrow, which is Tuesday, and I'll go Tuesday through Friday. Now I'm gonna be working on my wig. So this is the before, and then I'm gonna fix the wig that I've been talking about. And just like this, you'll see the new me. And here's the after, I finally straightened it. And I didn't have to style it actually at all. It already came layered, like there's shorter pieces in the front, and then it's pretty long. I like it. It's nice and soft. It's from Julia Hair. I'll link it below in case I do have a girl watching. But then, you know, with these new wigs, it's trying to get the top part like very flat to your head so it looks natural. So I have to work on that a little bit because it's still a little poofy on top. Well, it feels poofy to me, but I, I like it. You just have to get used to it. You know, anytime you get a new wig, you just have to get used to the way it fits. This actually is, it fits a little big, so I have to adjust the back of it. But I could definitely deal with this one. I could work with it. Oh, it's like night and day, you know. This is why I want to get extensions so I could have, like, instead of having to put a wig on, I'll just have extensions that are this length instead of my short hair. Whoa, toss it. <laughs> nice and secured on there. It's not going anywhere. I think I might cut a little more layers in the front because it looks like too witchy. You know, like witchy, it's like too all one and all in one length in the front. Like I think if I layered more, it would frame my face nicer. Like instead of it just being all one length. But I'm so bad with giving haircuts to myself and like with wigs, if you chop it too short, that's it. You ruined it. So I have to play around with this. Well, here I am at the gym getting ready to do some cardio. It's early in the morning. Well, not that early, but it's 8 o'clock. I just hopped out of bed and I'm ready to get this cardio over with so I can get my day started. <laughs> good to be back from the gym. I did 30 minutes of cardio. I was sweating. Now I'm gonna have my protein shake. It has 30 grams of protein and I love these protein drinks and it's actually coffee um, flavored and it actually has a little bit of caffeine in it so it gives me a little pick-me-up. Just a little bit I think. I don't know how much caffeine but I, I swear by these because sometimes I hate mixing like the powdered shakes up. It just takes so much time and they never taste good. This one actually tastes really good. Premier protein in the cafe latte flavor. But yeah, I love getting the cardio over with in the morning. I got up this morning 7.45. I was out of the house by 8 a.m. So it feels good to have that over with. And actually, like, my gym is so crowded. Like, it's like I was trying to film more stuff for you guys. But my gym is so crowded, even at that early of an hour that it's impossible to film in there. You know, you get stopped, not stopped by security or anything, but just people walking through your shots, people coming up to you wanting to talk to find out what you're filming. <laughs> Anytime people see a camera, they get, they get very nosy. But um, it was good. Now I'm gonna have my shake and then I'm gonna have a smoothie about an hour later. And then I'll take you guys later on some errands. And it always feels good to come back home and rip off my shirt. You know, I wish I could work out in like a sports bra like this, but I would not feel comfortable working out in a sports bra. Even when I was like, I mean, I competed like seven years ago and I was like in the best shape of my life. You know, I had abs, I was thin. 
I still never worked out in a sports bra because for one, I, I think sports bras, you know, they cause more attention and I don't know when you're working out. Well, for me, when I'm working out, I don't want any attention. So I want to get my workout in. I want to be under the radar and just having such a larger chest <laughs> in a sports bra, you're just asking for attention, I think. And, you know, I like having big boobs, but not in the gym. <laughs> I don't know, it's it's a weird thing. You know, it would be nice to just be able to go to the gym like this. For one, it, I would sweat less. You know, it's I'm in Vegas, so it's like 90 degrees in the morning. And, you know, going walking to the gym, it's like you start sweating. So if I was, you know, if I, if I could wear just this, I wouldn't sweat as much. But I just wouldn't feel comfortable, you know, jumping and, you know, running on the treadmill. And just all the movement. <laughs> I give it, I give girls credit who could go, you know, because I see them in my gym in Vegas, you know, they all come in their little sports bras and little short shorts and just working out and <laughs> I wish I could, I wish I could dress like that in the gym and feel comfortable, but I, I'm actually shy. People don't believe that I'm shy, but I'm actually shy when it comes to that and I don't like attention in that way. <laughs> Well, I'm out here running errands. First stop is I got to take these shoes to the shoe cleaner to get the heel fixed. Believe it or not, you know, people still <laughs> people still go to shoe cleaners. And they actually clean leather there too. So let's drop these shoes off and then we'll go to the next stop. So the shoes will be ready next week. It's only $14 to fix the heels, so that's not too bad. Now we're heading into vitamin shop. I just got to pick up one item which is, um, I just gotta pick up flaxseed oil. I love this flaxseed oil. It's the best flaxseed oil. This one. That's the only reason why I come to vitamin shop nowadays. I like to put it in my oatmeal or in my cream of wheat. And then I also think I wanna pick up, it's like um, a CoQ10, it's called Ubiquinol. It's like a really high strength um, CoQ10. So let's see if they have it. I'll check back in with you guys after. Now I'm heading into Target. I have to refill my dog's prescription. And then maybe while I'm waiting for the prescription to get filled, I'll go look at some clothes. So let's get this prescription filled for my doggy. I swear I'm at the vet and the pharmacy more for my doggy now that she's old at 15 that I am for myself. I'm going to go see what kind of clothes Target has, do a little try on. Just looking for some fall items. They have so much to choose from. I still like Walmart clothes better. I don't know. Walmart has like better patterns. Target's like a little plain. So we'll see what I can find. running all the errands it felt it felt like it took forever at Target I ended up normally I don't go to Starbucks you know just because I find it so expensive and 
it's just not worth it. But I went to Starbucks and I got their grilled cheese. I've heard so much about their grilled cheese. It's my dog sees it. It's like on sourdough. It doesn't, it's not that hot. So it looks like I'm gonna have to heat it back up. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm. It's okay. It's like made with Swiss cheese. It's good. But you know, it's a grilled cheese, like, it's all about the bread, so this bread is very good. But I'm definitely going to have to heat this up because it's like not hot. <laughs> so it's, it's much better heated up, I just put it in the microwave for like 15 seconds. Mmm, mmm, it's so much softer. It has more flavor, now that I heated it up. It's really good. It would be nice like, if, it had, if it had a tomato on it or something. But it literally is just cheese and bread. Not that much butter either. So since I did all my errands today, I know I'm not gonna pick you guys back up because I'm not gonna be doing anything else today. I'm all set. I got all my food. I got um, my supermarket foods. So I could cook dinner. So I don't, I don't really have to leave the house today. So I will pick you guys back up tomorrow. Well, I'm waiting in line to get my car serviced. I have to get the 10,000 mile service because also my tires, my tire pressure button keeps coming on. And I keep having to fill my tires up and my car is only a 2020 with only what, 11,000 miles on it. So I got to see what's going on and I will check back in with you guys later. This is the worst. I hate bringing my car to the dealership because then you have to wait so long. So after like almost two hours later, I finally got my car, the tires fixed, the oil changed. I can't believe I sat in that waiting room for two hours. Thank God I had my headphones and I just watched some YouTube videos. The time actually went by pretty quickly. You know, they have snacks and everything there. So now it's like 2 o'clock, I'm going to get ready to go to the gym, do some legs. I'm not going to film it just because I want to get in and out of this gym. I don't want to stay any longer. So I actually didn't do much today. It's later in the day. I went to the gym this morning. It was just a cardio day. So I just did fasted cardio. And now I'm so excited because I got my package from Fashion Nova. I just love Fashion Nova. They have such stylish like outfits but for the, you know, for a very good price. So I'm gonna do a mini try-on haul. I just got like pants like to wear like for business meetings and for work. So I wanna see how Fashion Nova does when it comes to their work gear. Well, this first pair looks like it's a bust. I got these in a large, but they are just, <laughs> they're too tight. They're not even coming up past my thighs. See, this is why I like buying work pants or like dressy pants from like Macy's or JCPenney's because they come in waist size, like 26, 27. Fashion Nova just comes in like small, medium, and large. And it looks like I have to get <laughs> an extra large in these because these just won't come up. They're like skin tight. They're not supposed to be skin tight. So this first, this pair is a fail. <laughs> This pair fits nice. This isn't, this isn't a work outfit or a business meeting outfit, but these are nice and comfy. They're bell bottoms, so they come all the way down to my feet and they flare at the bottom. These are so comfortable. They're, this is a size medium and it fits really good. Woo. This is why I like to wear stretchy pants over like, you know, um, I don't know, like work looking pants, because stretchy pants, you know, you can always get on, they make you feel nice and sexy and comfortable. I love these. I'm gonna get these in more colors. And the fact that I'm a medium in these, and in the work pants I was a large and I couldn't even get up, past up my hips, it's crazy. I wish I could wear work, I wish I could wear these types of pants to business meetings, but this is just not acceptable. <laughs> So here we have a two-piece suit. Now these pants fit comfortable because they are stretchy. So they're stretchy work pants. There's no button or anything. You just slide them on. It does come with this belt. And the bottoms are nice and long. I don't really like the blazer too much. The blazer is a size large, like the pants are large, but I don't know, it feels, the blazer feels like a little tight 
Not when I go like this, but when I go like this. I don't know if I'll keep the blazer. It, it, the blazer doesn't have any buttons on it. It's just meant to be worn open, casual. I think I'll keep these. The butt looks nice in the pants. And these pants feel way more comfortable than those other ones that I tried on. This is my, this is my very business type outfit. And of course, like underneath, I would wear like more of a top to cover myself up. But it's cute, it's comfortable. I'm just worried about the sleeves. I'll have to see if I'm gonna take this one back, especially the top, I don't know. Well, that was the end of the fashion haul. Now I finally got my comfy shorts back on. Woo! <laughs> and I think, I don't think I'm gonna pick you guys back up for the rest of the, the day. All I have to do is go to the vet to pick up some prescriptions and go to the bank, so I'm not really doing too much. I'm just making dinner later tonight, so nothing exciting. And if you wanna see more of my videos, make sure you click here and like the video and leave a comment below. I wanna hear from you, and make sure you subscribe.